Christine Niles. Today's Thursday, August 17th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A leading Vatican prelate is rallying Catholics against relativism, indifferentism, and contempt of God. Speaking in France Saturday, African Cardinal Robert Serra, head of the Congregation for Divine Worship, warned that anti-family revolutionaries are bearing down on the church with contempt for children, fidelity, and faith. In his homily, he exhorted Catholics to fight the enemies of God with devotion to the rosary and to the sacred heart of Jesus. Only with prayer, he said, can the modern dictatorship of selfishness be defeated. Amidst numerous calls to axe Steve Bannon, Trump is defending his Catholic chief strategist. Speaking at a press conference Wednesday, the president had this to say. Uh, and I like him. He's a good man. Uh, he is not a racist. I can tell you that. He's a good person. He actually gets a very unfair press in that regard. Bannon himself said in an interview Wednesday that white supremacists are, quote, losers, fringe, and a collection of clowns. A federal court is ruling that Arkansas can yank funding from Planned Parenthood. Wednesday, the 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that Arkansas could suspend Medicaid payments to the abortion giant, reversing a lower court ban. The judgment goes against four other U.S. Circuit Court rulings, creating a split in the circuit courts that will likely land these cases before the Supreme Court. Arkansas rolled out the measure to ban funding to Planned Parenthood after a series of undercover videos by investigative journalist David Daleiden revealed the abortion conglomerate unlawfully trafficking in the sale of aborted babies' body parts. Catholic churches are increasingly becoming the target of attacks. In the past two weeks, there have been at least three incidents of sacrilege inside Catholic churches, from abortion activists draping altars with pro-abortion slogans, to teens disrupting mass with X-rated lyrics played over the microphone, to the shooting of 22 people and the cold-blooded murder of 13 parishioners during mass in Anambra, Nigeria, the church is not being seen as a sacred place. In all these cases, the police are refusing to consider them religious hate crimes. An Irish priest is blasting his bishop for refusing to increase the presence of female leaders in the church. Father Roy Donovan of Limerick last week denounced Archbishop Kieran O'Reilly for his decision to introduce the male-only permanent diaconate. Donovan also used the opportunity to call for the ordination of women to the priesthood, declaring, quote, a woman saying, this is my body, this is my blood, can give more meaning to the Eucharist than any male celibate. Ireland's Liberal Association of Catholic Priests is backing Donovan, saying that adding another male clerical layer to ministry is insensitive to women. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about four traitors. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the new politics of sex. God bless you.